five o'clock. And we gotta be over east to chop corn to get the uh, other guys started chopping corn at seven. And then at eight, eight thirty, we are going to finish chopping our sedan grass. And if you can't tell, I'm very excited because, you know, we don't own a chopper yet. And uh, we'd always have, this is all custom work. The dairy's got their own guys doing their corn silage. But our sedan grass is getting chopped for the dairy. It's being done by custom guys that normally always do ours. And the guy who runs their chopper can't be here today. So I get the lucky job of running the chopper today. I've never run a chopper. I've rode in the chopper a lot. We've been doing our stuff for the last five or six years. So I've been riding in the chopper a lot. So I'm mildly excited about getting to run the chopper today. So anyway, we had to get up at five o'clock though. That way we can get all the chores done and over east by seven. So. I gotta feed grain, dad's gonna feed silage, we'll swing through the pig barn, unhook the truck I think, maybe a couple other little things and we'll head over east, start chopping Sudan grass. Yeah, we'll be doing Sudan grass. Okay, let's go start feeding. <coughs> you probably can't see me, but I'm looking at you. Uh, that's done now. Um, we'll run down here and unhook the dually from the seed tender because it's got to go in for a like airbag recall deal or whatever finally dad's finally doing so just gotta walk down here in the nice moonlight it's actually a beautiful morning out beautiful morning so we'll do that and i think we're going to start heading over east I got my first load chopped, so we'll keep playing with it for a while. We'll try to get footage of loading, but for now, I need to practice a little bit. It wasn't, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. It could have been worse. So anyway, we'll keep messing around with this, and we're going to go keep partying on. Waiting. Well, I loaded my first two trucks. One horrible, really. I spilt. Enough. Oh, there's that next truck. I spilled enough, but not horrible. Could have been worse, so. We keep partying on. Here in a little bit, I'll get some footage for you guys. Get a little better. So, I just had to turn the inoculant off. The inoculant, it, uh, it helps the silage ferment and keeps it fresher. It's basically just an additive to it. Help it ferment better make better feed if I don't turn it off it just keeps shooting in there and starts leaking eventually so make sure to turn that off every time I got to wait but we should be good we shouldn't have to wait here as long as we get enough trucks and get them spread out right we should be good so anyway my truck's about here so we're gonna get going okay next trucks here we're gonna get this thing going you gotta flip it on 
gauge here in a sec. There it goes. Double tap that button, turn your head on. You turn my inoculant on. Rev it up. Try not to miss any. Push number two. It goes down. And I'm smelling it all. Slow up. Spilling it. waiting again. We've probably chopped oh, a lot, <laughs> but I'd say there's oh, we've done five. I bet we've done 15 loads already and there's every bit of 20, 20, 20 plus left. We got a long way to go yet. Long way to go. Can lease the hardest working truck in America, a 2019 Ford F-150 with no money down for just $222 per month. Or you can lease a 2019 Escape for just $216 per month. And even if your credit is a little dinged up, we have banks and lenders that believe everyone deserves a nicer newer vehicle. This month, we want to recognize the people. Back and forth, fill a truck, fill another truck. 
Fill a couple more trucks. It just never ends. But I am having fun. I've never run a chopper. It's kind of fun, really. What? back and forth here I'd like to like to thank uh, Jones Show Cattle for letting us use their chopper here in this kind of pinch we got ourselves into. The uh, guy who was doing the uh, chopping before had a pretty major breakdown and shut him down for quite a while or at least long enough to where if we didn't have another chopper available the sedan grass would be too dry and it'd be junk at that point. So I thank them for letting us use their chopper and then thank me for letting me run it today since uh, guy can't be running it today because he's got I think eight a bale or something that needs to be bailed so they're letting us run it so we can get this the sedan grass chopped and keep things moving anyway so I just like to thank you guys for that. Um, pretty sure they'd have a a uh, website but if they don't I'll just find put some kind of contact information in the bottom. They got some they got a lot of show cattle they got pretty good show cattle really they they always compete at our county fair, at least in the top 10, normally, so. You guys, just go check them out. And, uh, just keep on chopping. I was just chopping along and I had an ECU code come up. I stopped and when I got done with that truck and looked at it and it was a fuel, low fuel pressure sensor deal. So said change our fuel filter. Okay. Well, then it started to quit running blowing white smoke. The guy who owns it said put fuel in it first because the gauge is a little goofy. Put fuel in it, well now it runs. Right. Kinda. Then the code comes on and then it starts spitting and sputtering and quitting. So low power so I'm waiting on a truck the other one guy is uh, one of the truck drivers is bringing a filter I'm gonna try changing the filter out if that doesn't work and I don't know what, the, what we're gonna do because we got a lot to do yet it's getting late it's six o'clock and we only got four trucks now because dad's that new Kenworth that we were running for the dairy is freaking piece of garbage keeps overheating the new tier final tier fours and stuff with the def and just garbage just runs too hot so kept overheating but well I'm hanging out for fuel filter to get here dad's over there in the blue tractor probably can't see him but he's right there somewhere working ground we're trying it anyway it's awful dry awful dry I'd rather wait till it rains but I don't know what else you're gonna do about it I'm just gonna sit here and wait for a truck and we get the fuel filter changed and hopefully it works We finally got the chopper back and going. We just got found the filter. Not the right filter, but it's working. So we're going to try to finish this. We got about 25-ish acres yet. So in four trucks, because dad's is overheating. So it's going to take a while, but I'd say it's 7.30 right now. I'd say it's going to be every bit of uh, 10, 11 o'clock till we're done. Maybe midnight even. Who knows? We'll find out. Well, never mind the late idea. I guess we got to quit now for whatever reason. I think it has to do with the dairy. Just, they just don't like going late. They don't have any lights back there. I think that's a lot of it. So, I don't know. But, bring the chopper up here. Park it. And tomorrow, I got other stuff. Me and Dad both got stuff we got to do. So, they're going to come back and they're going to start. They're going to finish chopping this. And, uh, go do a couple other 
feels they got to do for somebody else. So, as far as I know, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I just want to thank Joan Show Cattle again for letting us use her chopper to help us get through this and get out of our uh, could have been disaster. Uh, I'll leave a link to their website. I found their website, so I'll leave a link to their website. Go check them out. Uh, but that is it. So if you guys like what you saw, make sure to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. On Snapchat at Farm Brothers 3, Instagram at Pullman Farms. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to YouTube here. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Tracking.